A state's nursing home cases jumped 635 percent despite vaccinations and elective surgeries slowed down, and CMS moves to mandate staff vaccination reporting. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Michigan providers are on high alert following a huge unexpected surge of cases and deaths at facilities despite a vaccination program in full force. The state's positive cases among nursing home residents increased by 635 percent from 48 to 353 between March 28th and April 5th, the Health Care Association of Michigan reported to local media. Deaths also increased from 5 to 77 during the same time period. Quote, it's all been a bit surprising to see the numbers, how fast and significant the increase is happening. Melissa Samuel, the association's president and CEO, told Kane's Detroit Business. The unexpected increase in cases comes just two weeks after providers realized a 96% decrease in positive cases nationwide. Hospitalizations across the state also have experienced a drastic rise between March and April, causing a reduction in elective procedures at Michigan hospitals. From December 21st, when the federal vaccination program for long-term care started, through early April, there were about double the cases in the general population, while nursing homes saw case numbers decrease from 754 to 353 per week. More than 102,000 vaccines have been given to residents and staff during that time frame. The State Health Care Association is stressing the importance of ensuring staff and residents get vaccinated when they can. In Michigan, 30% of residents aren't vaccinated and less than 50% of, of staff are. CMS is proposing a new quality measure for skilled nursing facilities to track vaccination coverage among its staff. The new measure was included in the agency's Skilled Nursing Facility Perspective Payment System proposed rule for fiscal year 2022, released late Thursday afternoon. The measure would require skilled nursing facilities to submit data through the CDC's National Healthcare Safety Network. To establish a facility-wide vaccination rate, they would report both the total number of eligible staff working at the facility in a given week and the number that had received a complete vaccination course. Skilled nursing facilities would be required to submit the vaccination data for at least one week each month. If skilled nursing facilities submit data from multiple weeks within a month, their most recent week's data would be used to calculate the measure. Just 37.5% of long-term care staff received a first dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines during the earliest round of a federal partnership program designed to vaccinate residents and frontline staff. After that, funding emerged, after that finding emerged, leading nursing home provider organizations launched a major campaign to boost that rate. Still, individual, individual facilities have not been required to report vaccination rates among their staff. That has led to frustration among residents and family members who are arguing for transparency amid the slow vaccination start among frontline staff. With the new measure, the CDC would calculate a summary measure of vaccination coverage each quarter and the facility's quarterly rate would be publicly reported on the Care Compare website. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.